Okay guys, so I just got back from a trip to Chicago with my mother and sister. I am hungry, I am hot, I am tired, and I just finished reading Divergent in a day. Well, four hours. And that's like almost 500 pages. So, <laughs> luckily I already have my steps written out. This is how to write a John Green novel. I am not using Will Grayson, Will Grayson, or Let It Snow. Um, I'm also not using zombie corns. Um, the reason I'm not using the collaborative stories is because, um, because they were written with other people and I think it's unfair to say, well, obviously this part belongs to John and not to the other writers when it was, when they so obviously influenced and changed each other's writings and, um, altogether it changes the book because it's not multiple stories it's a single story <laughs> um so uh, the reason i'm not using zombie corns is because i hadn't read it when i wrote these steps and writing these steps made me want to read zombie corns and i didn't want to alter them because i am too tired okay so step one pick the life-altering philosophy that your character will eventually arrive at. How to deal with life, how to deal with the unpredictability of the future, how to imagine people complexly and not as ideas, and how to deal with dying. Or how to deal with dying. Step two, give your main character a few realistic teenage problems to balance out the heavy dose of insomnia they'll get from pondering life so much. Bad television, bad at making friends, unlucky in love, always a follower. Step three, Add some quirks. Make sure they're a little bit ridiculous, maybe a bit unbelievable, but always hilarious. These can be for the main character or the main character's friend. Obsession with last words, going to a youth group in the literal heart of Jesus, winning a game show, and being a child prodigy. Step four, travel. Preferably by car, especially if it is filled with people and someone has to pee. Step four. Five. There is a before and an after. There, there's always some game-changing event in the plot that completely shakes everything. Before and after, um, spoilers for everything. Before and after Alaska's death. Before and after Margot leaves. Before and after we find out about Augustus's illness. Um, I can't remember the one of the bus dates with Catherine's, but my sister and I were talking about it. I think... No, I can't remember. Sorry. Uh, step six. The relationship between the main character and their romantic interest is the catalyst for the journey that eventually brings them to their epiphany. Occasionally, this is a two-way epiphany for both the main character and the main character's love interest. Step seven. Friends usually have to suffer through a similar journey, though they do not necessarily reach the, the same epiphany as the main character. Step 8. Don't forget to add lots of hilarious, slightly immature dialogue. Teenagers are filled with contradictions, and one of those contradictions is that we worry about heavy things in life and the nature of the universe while still appreciating a good fart joke. Optional. Your main character is probably white and middle class. I mean, if they're not middle class, how are they going to pay for all that traveling? The Make-A-Wish Foundation or winning a game show? Please, that doesn't happen. Um, don't take too much of that seriously. It's, uh, it's all good-natured fun, and I'm pretty sure it's not severely offensive, so, um... That's my video. That's all I have time for. I think I'm going to go pass out. See you guys next week.